All right, welcome back to Thaumaturge. Hey, I'm getting better at pronouncing that. Um, we're in Warsaw right now because apparently our father has passed away. So yeah, we gotta go see our father's funeral in Pawatski Cemetery. Okay, yeah, let's see what this is about. Yeah, this is scratched out. I wonder what this means. Um, this lady is crying. The city is getting crowded and stuffy. Oh, she's sad about that. Oh yeah, you can also zoom in and zoom out. I think I like this camera better. We might zoom in to look at a few details. Like this man telling me good day. With his book. I th think he's supposed to have a book here. But it's just not spawned in. So he just looks like he's... I don't think he's begging. Nah. Yeah, yeah, he's flipping pages and stuff. But his book is not there. Okay. So yeah, we need to go see our, our father. What's up, Tom? You didn't miss anything. I just started. So this is exactly where we stopped last time. I guess we gotta go see our father's coffin because he's he's dead. Sad. Um. When does the strike start? Oh, these guys are onto something. They're arguing. Um, I should pay attention. I wonder what the missus cooked up for dinner. Ah, oh. yeah, I should pay attention more to what these people are talking about. It's kind of. I don't know, it's interesting to listen in every now and then. Alright, what is this? The Daily Courier. The last or the latest news. The chief of police in the city of Warsaw hereby informs the general public that in connection with their majesty, majesty's visit, uh, the number of units patrolling the streets on this day will be doubled. In particular, constables will look out for the groups of troublemakers that have been gathering more and more recently near major um, through fairs to protect against uh, thaumaturges and demand that His Majesty officially condemn thaumaturges as charlatans and a menace to humanity. Oh God, that's that's all about me. Yesterday near Remarska Street, the police arrested 15 people who protested lo loudly and disrupted traffic, demanding the thaumaturgy to be published punishable by death. The protesters protesters were intoxicated and started a fight with the police. Um, okay, unit dispatched on the scene. Okay, so hold up. They have been gathering more and more recently near measure uh, to protest against thaumaturges. Okay, so people don't like us. Yes, thaumaturgy point. I guess I got an upgrade point. Yeah, people don't like the us like people like me the thaumaturges but is the government okay with it or does no one like us <laughs> is it just both the people and the police anti-thaumaturge leaflet okay let's get rid of those parasites let us protect our children from those degenerates let us act now before it is too late okay yeah sure I'm gonna I'm gonna slow down or you know go a bit fast with with reading all the lore and all the letters and stuff, but I'll definitely I'll make sure to pause if people want to read them. I don't like games that have tons and tons and tons of reading, but I'll definitely skim through a bunch of stuff. Um to all police stations chiefs of Warsaw, beware of uh Aborisi Niezdzik, leader of the Shiv's gang, recently seen Near uh, where's Boa Street? Description: hair blonde, eyes blue, face round. Okay. <laughs> Stature sizable. Distinct marks. Dark circle under his eyes, significantly exception. Wait, signifying exceptional anger. He's a thief and a murderer. Particularly active in. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Um. Whoever notifies the authorities of his whereabouts and contribution is uh, or contributes to his apprehension shall be rewarded. Okay. So he's not a thaumaturge. He's just kind of like, he's just a gang member, I guess. All right. The County Weekly Magazine. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of liter literature around. What's up, kid? 
The news is so fresh that the ink's still wet. Nice. <laughs> uh, okay. Another one of those. I am definitely going to click these because they give you XP, apparently. Revolutionary leaflet. Brothers, the 11-hour work days are killing us. Let's follow the example of the workers in German and English factories and fight to reduce them to nine working hours. Join the strike. Put down your tools and join the fight for our future. God damn, 11 hour work days? Holy. Um, okay. I think we've done everything. Is this the bar menu? <laughs> you can even read the bar. The menu for the bar. You can't even buy anything. God, dude, you can read everything in this game. Holy. What is this? I'm doing it for the XP. Okay, I feel like all these newspapers are maybe the same. Alright. Uh, okay, so go see your father. Let's exit. I know I have an upgrade point. I think I'd rather wait until I get into a fight. So I can adapt things according to that. Why such a crowd? The circus has come to town. Ooh. These are troubled times. Brothers turn against brothers. Russia has had enough bloodshed. The violence must stop. Wait, it's not actually circus? When socialists attempt to divide Russia and her subject nations, to dent the sword that smote the enemy at Grunwald, this demands my decisive action. Thus, by my grace, I hereby appoint as Governor General of Warsaw, Georgi Antonovich Skawon. A butcher. Ask her about Skawon or keep listening. Uh, I mean, that's all you need to know. A butcher, that means he's like an asshole. He kills a lot of people, you know. Uh, let's keep listening. Maybe we can ask her later. Well, the time for leniency and indulgence is over. From the moment this office is bestowed on me, no forces hostile to the subjects of greater Russia will have any further right to exist. None, whether it be brutal socialist subversives, communists, Jews, or other satanic provocateurs. The shoe knows how to unite a crowd. Pardon me, are you Polish? Lady, you sound American. <laughs> okay. Dude, that guy's mustache is so big, it probably just weighs down his lips. That's why he's got some sort of a lisp whenever he talks. Um, give an evasive response. I'm gonna say yes. Maybe she's Polish as well. Wanda, her name is. Yes, I feel Polish. My name's Victor. Wanda. This is Russia here. Like it or not. Warszawa. Premia terora. Zakonjois. Idi na chuj! My first decision as governor general of Warsaw. Oh God. Two two seconds into his rule, he's already executed a man. <laughs> Great heroes in their sense of timing. Of course, now they're the first ones in the fight. Samo bladanie, Polyaki. We want that rebel, the loudmouth. What happened? Be a gentleman. Please kneel and tie my shoe. Was she loading a gun? So you think she took you for one of her lackeys? Oh yeah, this is this is something that um, adds to my pride uh, flaw, which gives me like heart points or, or whatever. I'm not. I'm going to keep choosing these. 
Yeah, she's loading a gun or something. I think she just dropped bullets. But yeah, I'm gonna choose this. That seems more like a job for the servants, young lady. Go ahead. Look down. Yep. We kneeled anyway, so sometimes it's good to choose the arrogant or the pride answer. Can I ask you a tiny favor? The Russians can't find out about this. The military is just looking for an excuse to suppress the crowd. And these workers are dreaming of thrashing a Russian gendarme. Either one of you confesses to disturbing the peace, or of Sieg Zabirai. We'll take you all in. You can't handle all of us. Can you get us out of here? Ask her what she's suggesting. What do you I got in mind? I'm open to any kind of suggestion. With a book like that, I'd find out what would convince one of these bastards to let us go. Oh, she knows. Or I'd take on that self-appointed leader of the proletariat. Interesting strategy. She knows we're at Thomas Thurge. Ask who she is. Say you could have, um, say you could have handed her in. Yeah, I want to ask who she is. Why does she know? Who or how? You, really? A damsel in distress. Those don't usually hide ammunition in their stockings. Can I explain it to you another time? Okay. I'm going to take a look around. Request from girl in trouble. Find a way to get out of the kettling incidents. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Alright, so it seems like we need to talk to these people. But yeah, she knows. And also, you probably shouldn't be carrying around a grimoire if you don't want people to know you're something they hate, you know? <laughs> Just a suggestion. Because she spotted us right away. Good idea to stir people up and send them to face bullets and bayonets. What do you want then? My whole life on my knees? Kissing Ruski's ass? Ask if he wants bloodshed here. Offer to help him in the fight. Um, yeah, we could probably dissuade him from violence, even if a fight is obviously more exciting. Do you realize blood is about to be spilled? And that it might be mine? Fuck off! Okay. <laughs> Do you think it's a good idea to stir people up and send them to face bullets and bayonets? What? My whole life on my... Okay. So we have this other choice, but I want to see what else I can do. If you don't want to fight. I want to see what I can do by talking to these guys and then we'll, we'll make a decision on who to side with. Pardon me, gentlemen. The crowd has received the order. For now, zero response. We'll give them a moment to arrest them all, book them, interrogate them. Gospody will be home in November. Gentlemen, please forgive me. Maybe there's a faster way to get this situation resolved. Back off, Polyak, or we'll start shooting. Paniatno, Scrum, Dovai. Invoke your last name. I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, I know who I am, but I don't know what my reputation is, so maybe not, right? Um... Goad the police officers into fighting. Goad. I'm assuming that means provoke. And then I have two other choices that I can't do yet. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk to him and tell him what they're about. Oh, wait. Is this the same? Did the corporal tell you we're going to shoot? Oh, okay. So this is another guy. Invoke your name. Oh, so these these are both the same dialogue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So yeah, let me go back to this guy and tell him what they're about to do, and then we'll talk to the lady again. Do you think it's a good idea to? St what do you? Want? My whole life. Okay. I know. That's still the same. Is there other clues here? Oh, what is that? I would never have seen this. It's like, sometimes you have to use the right click. Um, Wanda. Okay, so that's her bullets. What is this? 
Police barrier. Okay. Is there anything else? Uh, no. Okay, let's talk to Wanda, and then we'll we'll probably side with this guy and fight with him. Maybe you could think a little faster. Okay, Wanda. I'm going to take a look. Good talk. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll tell him I'll fight with him. No more 11-hour workdays. We're we're going up to or down to nine now. Offer to help in a fight. To keep from dragging ordinary people into the fight. They won't expect us to strike first. How many are coming with us? Let's see for ourselves. Oh, snap. They're all ready. Oh, wait, it's only two of us. Okay. So now, let me let me use some of my abilities. I need to unlock this so we can get more clues that are from the deed uh, category. Or the deed dimension. Reduce focus by one additional point if the enemy is in the suffering state. Okay, we can do that. Just to unlock that dimension. Um all right. Oh I can put oh I, I can put two things on this. Right? Oh no, maybe I can only put two of the same. Okay, I guess I'll put this on the same attack or on the the planned attack. Okay. We're good. Let's see here. Issue order. Selecting yourself or a saluter. Okay. Summoning another saluter. You can summon another saluter or salutor uh, at any time. A green flame around the saluter image means that exceptionally effective in a fight uh, with the given enemy. Read the description above the saluter uh, to find out why they... Okay. Okay. Issue an order. Okay. Suggested. Focus deprivation will be more effective against this enemy. Okay. 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 I see. So I can issue him an order now, or I or I can play first. Okay. Interesting. Um. Every attack the enemy deals, maximum possible damage, receive. Okay, so I can... Ooh, hold up. Okay. I'm actually going to start working on this guy. Because I can do this. I can add suffering to him. Um, and then I can make him lose focus. So I can execute him or execute him with my heavy attack. Yeah. Okay, so now he's suffering, right? Which means... He is gonna attack... Wait. He's gonna attack me? Who is he gonna attack? He's gonna attack this guy, right? And this dude... Okay, he's gonna be attacking me next turn, not this turn. Okay. I see. Um, so yeah. So now we can do this, which will apply suffering, but it would also reduce focus, I think. Um, wait, did I put it? Oh, wait, no, I put it on the, the heavy attack. Hold on. Where did I put it? I put... Apply suffering. Hold on. Oh yeah, I can't switch. Why suffering? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. Um, hold up. I took this by what an additional point. Oh, okay, I see. So if I do this, it will reduce two focus because this guy is suffering right now. What if I? Oh wow. I can actually reduce his stuff by a lot. 
That's minus two focus, I think. And that's minus three. Interesting. Oh, my guy's bleeding. All right, cool. Um, okay, so my guy's gonna punch this guy. Wait, hold up. Yeah, this guy's is gonna attack now. So I can quick attack him to interrupt his attack. I have a 50% chance, but it might work. Um, and then I'll, I'll just do a heal. Or wait, maybe I'll attack. Yeah, I'll attack him. See, I broke his attack, so now he's not going to attack anymore. Okay, that guy's going to attack next. He's going to hit my dude right here. Okay, interesting. Action reaction. Oh, so this unlocked. This is like a level two to my quick attack. Interesting. Um, can I finish this guy? Action reaction does nine damage. And then he's suffering. He might die. How much health does he have? 22. Yeah, he might die from the suffering. That's nine plus nine is 18. And then he's gonna suffer. Oh, he has one HP. There's no way. Okay, I can still kill him because it's my turn. Unless the suffering finishes him on his turn. I'm actually gonna give that a shot. All right, we need to cancel this guy's attack for next turn. And then I will, I guess I'll queue up a, a heavy attack. There we go. See, he suffered, so he died. And then we can finish this guy. All right. I still need to understand the focus a bit better. Because it seems like when, when an enemy has a lot of focus, it's very hard to break it. And to get them in panic mode. Um, wait. Traits. Enemies can have a trait that makes them immune to your attacks. Traits are related to different dimensions and they can be disabled. Okay. Disabling traits. To disable an enemy's trait, attack them with a saluter that belongs to the same dimension as the trait. Note that if you don't have the required dimension of force, you can take away all of the opponent's focus and launch a strong attack. Okay. Yo, this guy has so much focus. There's no way I'm taking it away. Okay, so his trait is reduce taking damage by 80%. Attack with you peer to disappear to disable. So you peer is this guy. Which means if I attack him, I can disable his resistance. Alright. Easy enough. And then I can apply suffering to him. Yeah. Okay, I can apply more suffering. And then Yupir is going to take away his resistance. And then after that, I can attack him. It'll do, it won't be 80% resistance anymore. Yeah, now it's six damage. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder if switching, um, I wonder if switching between uh, Salutars Oh, wow. I just pulled out a gun. Ow! Wait, he's not dead? Oh my god, he didn't die. I thought I thought we would finish him. Ow. My head. Okay. <laughs> All that to get slapped in the back of the head. You lost... Oh, I lost my grimoire and my revolver. Shulski. Victor. One of those Shulskis? Yes. My condolences. Now, profile. Thank you.
What you pissing in the bucket for, asshole? Where else am I supposed to? Brown in the bucket, whiz on the wall. You better remember that, too. That bucket's gonna last you guys till tomorrow. Can I use the phone? Brown in the bucket was on the wall, huh? So they took my stuff, they took my grimoire and my gun. I can't do magic anymore. Well, that's not bad. Or, that's terrible. <laughs> okay. Sit down, and then we can talk to these guys and the stuff out there. That's the, that's Wanda. It's the lady that was with us. Um, okay. Well, we gotta figure out a way to get out of here. Revolutionary pamphlet. Okay, this is about the 11 hour workday. What are you Wise guy. Genef. I don't know what that means. Quit squealing. First time in the big city? Have some respect if you don't know who you're running your mouth at. He's one of them that went after the Ruskies with his bare fists. As a result of your decision, this path is closed. What? What decision? Proudly confessed you were brawling with Russian soldiers. Hell yeah, I was. I showed a couple of Russian soldiers when I think about the petitions. I have moments like that sometimes. And I gave it to some Ruskies in the kisser, too. There's this red-bearded fella sitting there. I glassed him in the face, then kicked him in the bean, and wham, on the floor. And I pinched his billfold, too. Did anybody ask you? Shut your damn trap. Well, are you from somebody? Mm -hmm. The Thaumaturge, uh, admit you didn't understand the question. Introduce yourself. Yeah, what does are you from somebody mean? I don't really get what you're asking. Good thing you're asking and not just running your mouth like some people. The question is, do you got a backer in town? You set up with somebody? Do you work for somebody? Oh. Um. Ask who sent them. Yeah, I don't... They, they just said the people were protesting against thaumaturges. So I don't think it's a good idea to, you know, say that shit to these people. Because he might be one of the protesters. Okay, ask who sent them. What about you guys? Sonny, I've still been running the protection racket with Crook at the Ruzhitsky Bazaar. My dad used to work for him. But that was back in the day. Apart from that, I stay straight. I only hassle the Ruskies when I get a little loaded. And I'm with the Shivs. Bullshit! You ain't with the Shivs. Don't you go talking crap about the Shivs, because I know them. You better give a fuller explanation, because I lose respect real quick. I'm sensitive about folks like that. Who you from? Introduce yourself. I'm going to avoid saying I'm a thaumaturge. My name's Viktor Shulsky, and I work on my own behalf. All right. Respect. First of all, I am a thaumaturge. Oh, God. Now them, I got respect for. I know one really decent Jew from Povishla who's a wizard, too. How about you? You got a foreskin or what? <laughs> Is my foreskin any of your what? fucking business? <laughs> well, no. I was just... Schmuck. But you don't look like much of a Warsaw lad. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> okay, so I guess he's not one of the people protesting against the Thaumaturge. Uh, you don't look like much of a Warsaw lad. Say looks can be deceiving. Say you've only come here for a funeral. That is true. I'm just here for my father's funeral. I hope you don't miss the funeral toasts. Welcome to Warsaw. Okay. It's kind of weird how some people have an English accent and then some people have an American accent, but everyone is Polish. You know what I mean? It kind of takes you out of it a bit. I wouldn't call you a master strategist. You got away from the station, so theoretically, we achieved our goal. 
You're not losing your sense of humor. I guess this isn't your first time in a place like this, is it? Admit you've been in jail before, ask who she is, ask if she got rid of her ammunition. I mean, they probably seized it, right? Because they took my gun. You'd better tell me if you managed to get rid of your ammunition. If I hadn't, I'd already be locked up at the Citadel. I admit your behavior did successfully distract the Ruskies. <sighs> You're welcome. Alright then, what's such a gorgeous hairy mug doing in a crummy place like this? Ask who she is, admit you've been in jail before. I want to know who she is, because she, she, she knew we were a thaumaturge. We've got a little time to kill. Maybe now you can tell me more about yourself. You seem to know your way around this setting. You've been here often? I'll take that as a compliment. And sure, sometimes, if the cause demands it. What cause? Let's say I know certain folks who'd find poles like you useful. Dealers in stolen Dutch pomade? Donut connoisseurs. They met at Burke Rotblitz's cafe. Um, asked if she also spends time there. Find out more about her acquaintances. What exactly do your friends do? I'd be glad to tell you. Over coffee and jam donuts. I'm afraid all these screws might have more questions and want to keep you here longer. Then you won't just miss out on the pastries, but also an adventure worthy of a great cause. Shulsky! I see you won't be hanging out here long either. Someone pay my bail? Another meeting. Fearless Wanda, the smuggler of bullets, proposed a meeting at Berg Roblitz's. And then we have a conclusion about Wanda. The woman I met during the Ketling incident was smuggling bullets in the nooks and crannies of her undergarments. Didn't need that much details. <laughs> Clearly, it isn't the first time she's done that. Unfortunately, this time, uh, the garter didn't hold and the bullets fell onto the pavement. Maybe fate will have us cross paths again and we'll meet at Berg Roblitz's for jam donuts. All right. I'm more of a chocolate donut type guy. yours. Oh, no. That's right. Then take it and get out of here. Take the grimoire and get out. First, ask uh, why you're being released so quickly. I don't want to, you know, push my luck, but I guess we, we should ask, right? Can I ask why the sudden change of plans? Anyone I should thank? If he wants to, he'll tell you himself. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah, we, we didn't find out anything. Someone freed us, though. Okay. Victor's file. I have my own file. Wanda's file. I think this girl's been here before. Ooh. Okay, what about Wanda's file? Entries, belongings. I can't read her file. It's just in my inventory. Okay, interesting. Um, oh yeah, maybe next time we talk to her, we can bring it up to kind of get some some information out of her. Okay. I don't think there's any clues here since we're not supposed to really find out anything. We're just supposed to get out. It's a bunch of reading. When recruiting for the gendarmerie, it is recommended to reject the following candidates immediately. Persons related to rebels and troublemakers Jews, thaumaturges, and deviation from these instructions must be very well argued. Okay. Alright, these people ain't right. These people ain't right. They are not right at all. Alright, what is this? Wanted list. Ooh. And there's some wanted people. Wanted notice. This is the same guy. The leader of the shifts. He has a rounded face. And blonde hair. <laughs> what does a round face even mean? 
I guess there, there's some faces that are more round than others. Um, obituary. Other respected citizen, Thomas philanthropist, entrepreneur. Oh, this is my dad. Died August 31st, age 64. Okay. So, yeah, so the government likes thaumaturges, but the people, or I guess some of the people, don't like them. That's why there's been protests against them. Orders. During the time of our gracious Tsar, all Russians, uh, of all Russia's visit to Warsaw, it is necessary to enhance the sense of security. Therefore, I uh, ordain that the number of patrol must be doubled. Okay. It's the same stuff in the newspaper. All right, so I think it's time for us to leave. Can I talk to Wanda before I go? Yo, Wanda. What's good? Okay. Um, I guess we need to come back, maybe, or meet her uh, at the, the cafe that she told us about. Okay. We're out of here. I did notice that the cutscenes were a bit laggy in that last fight. Which was a bit unfortunate. Okay, can I look at a bigger map? Tram stop, carriage, tram stop. Okay. Locked, police station, locked, locked. Vienna station, apartment 231, Imperial Hotel. Okay. Um, let me get back to what I was doing. Go to my father. This way. Oh, what is that? Catch the tram. Oh, I have to do it. Okay. Um, oh. It takes you to a whole different part of the city. To the cemetery. Travel. Say hi to Papa. All right, what do we got here? Notice with an adver advertisement, men's tailor. Except all manners of tailoring work, offering the lowest possible prices. Hell yeah. Dude, I'm leveling up just by reading. <laughs> I'm leveling just by reading notes. It's awesome. I already have two points that I can attribute. Uh, okay. Mausoleum. Locked. I'm assuming the cemetery is here, right? Yeah. Any... Any reading that I missed? I hear someone crying. Yeah, I don't think I missed anything. These horses, they have a lot to say. Obituary notice. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Troy family is asking all relatives and friends to join them for the funeral service. Okay. Uh, parish announcements. Okay. Obituary. Okay, so it's the same thing that was at the police station. Um... Who's this? Tomb, R.I.P. Uh, Maria Wisnowska, Polish stage artist. Okay. Oh, you can check out people's graves. Here lies Jan Schmelek. I don't know who these people are, but they're giving me XP and I don't mind. <laughs> Do not mind at all. Keep it coming. It seems like the the XP requirement to level up doesn't doesn't go doesn't get bigger. It seems like all the levels are at the same XP. You know, it's like level one is a hundred and level two is also a hundred XP. You don't need you know more. It doesn't get harder to level up. I think it seems like that, but I'm not sure. 
I'm almost at three points that I can spend to upgrade. Okay. I think we've done a bunch of reading. Let's talk to this guy. I'm sure you don't remember me. My name's Hayat. Mordecai Hayat. I wanted to offer my condolences. Thank, Thank you. Please, forgive my prying. I know Mr. Shulsky took nitroglycerin for his heart, but how did he pass away? Was that his cause of death? His heart? So you don't know the cause of death. Quip about your father. <laughs> he didn't have a heart. <laughs> Damn, dude. Uh, ask why he's so interested. Yeah, that would be a good answer. Or a good question. So interested in my father's cause of death. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone. I'm sure you want to bid farewell to your father. Hmm. That's pretty sus. Very, very sus there, Mord Mordiac? Mordecai? I think I ought to arrest you, Taumaturge. Put your hands up. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Put your hands down. Someone might see. You still haven't figured out who I am? Don't be surprised. The last time we saw one another was 20 kilos ago. <laughs> Uncle Veronian? I will not keep you. The guy's probably all alone back there, among those vultures circling Stasio. I'm sure she'll be glad to see you. Go on. We'll talk later. All right. I don't know if he gained or if he lost 20 kilos. Anyway, looking good, Uncle. Looking good. Sister? Victor. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure if my telegram had reached you. I'm glad too. How are you holding up? All this caught me off guard, but... For now, I don't have time to think things through calmly. Look at yourself. What happened? Change the subject. Ask if your mother knows about your father's death. Admit you were in jail. Don't mention you were in jail. I was in jail. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna say it. I already have my face all beat up. <laughs> I took a short trip to a Warsaw jail. What? Are you joking? During the funeral? Are you alright? Everything's fine. Don't worry. Have you written to mother? Yes, but... What can you expect? You know what Nadia is like. It was never her style to show up for family events like this. It's getting late. And we've still got the reading of Papa's will ahead of us at home. And I'll leave you two alone. I suppose you've got your own matters to clear up. He said your mother. So does that does that mean we're step-siblings? Do we have different mothers? Um, stay to say goodbye to your father. Put that off until later. Now we'll stay. Fine. Let's get this over with. Have a chat with the old man. Even though he's kind of a prick. So, it was me who got it right in the end. Back then, on the train platform, was the last time we saw one another. Fifteen years ago. Leave now. That you've said your goodbyes. Read the obituary aloud. After brief suffering fell asleep in the Lord. Brief? I hope not. Did you write this yourself? A tyrant, bigot, and liar, mistakenly absorbed, died after suffering all too briefly. That's better, and definitely closer to the truth. Leave now. Say goodbye sincerely. Mention the, the dream you had. Oh yeah, I want to talk about that. Because that's when he told us that we were a failure or something. The day you died, you visited me in my dreams. I was a child when you hounded me out of here. And I remember you as you were back then. But in my dream, you looked older. <laughs> you gave me hell as usual. You didn't believe I'd succeed. You were wrong. 
have come back with two salutars. Okay. Say goodbye sincerely. I'm sorry there are so many things I didn't get to say to your face. All those years, I said them over and over to myself in my head. How you were never able to admit a mistake. You never sought blame in yourself. Someone else was always guilty. Never you. Mother, because she wanted something for herself in life. Ligia, because she wasn't born a boy. Me, because I was born a thaumaturg, but I didn't want to live following your principles. And now... <sighs> okay. Farewell, father. Am I intruding? Say he interrupted your moment for personal reflection. Uh, ask how he's been... How long he's been eavesdropping. Find out what he wants. I'm gonna do this, because I'm pretty sure he's gonna answer and tell us what he wants. Say he interrupted your moment uh, of personal reflection. I was reflecting at the grave of my beloved father. You tricked me. I heard something else. Stanislav and I were acquainted. You might say I knew everything about your father. Mr. Victor Shulsky, isn't it? Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. Admit you haven't made up your mind yet. Say you don't intend to stay here too long. Point out that it's none of his business. So, wait, what? what is stopping me from using this answer every time and building up my pride? A proud answer, it not only draws from your flaw of pride, but will also feed it even more. It's like pride increases my heart. And I know it says flaw, but it also increases the effectiveness of my ability. So is it really a flaw? You know? I don't know. Uh, say you don't intend to stay long, admit you haven't made up your mind that point out that it's none of his business true with all due respect this is my personal business it was my father who knew you not me true please forgive me i meant no harm again my condolences okay i didn't catch your name my name's Kanyechkin. Ivan Kanyechkin. Goodbye. All right. Such interesting friends you had. Oh, is he a thaumaturg as well? <sighs> I, I guess I'm more tired than I thought. All right. Tomb. Sulz Sulska. Great Is this our family? A thaumaturge. Yeah. Can you call him a thaumaturge? I barely remember him. Yeah, these are these are all our family members, grandpas and grandmas. All right. Uh, go to your family home. Okay. Probably gonna have to take the train again. Uh, we can go. The hardest thing was getting the lid of the urn. The scattering I could handle. You can play the clown, but I know how much this has cost you. I'm glad you went. Love at a funeral? Eros postmortem. Is it suitable for a young lady in mourning to fraternize with bachelors? Konstantia Shabowska, the Warsaw Courier. Could I ask for a brief comment? Faina. Thank you. And you, sir? Ask Ligia if you ought to intervene. 
Don't cause problems for her. Chase, hi, chase the hyena away. Uh, explain that you're. Yeah, I was gonna say it's, she's she's our sister. We're twins, my dear lady. The Shulskis reunited. You don't look like a horrid cripple. Why did you leave Warsaw so quickly? Don't tell her anything. She'll write whatever she wants anyway. And we'd better get going. Uh, alright. Chase her away. I suggest you leave. Otherwise, I'll overlook your womanhood and make sure you can never pronounce a single syllable correctly again. You Whoa. think that to happen, Judge? Maybe I should write about this. And who would let you print it? Someday the press will get the Russian boot off its neck, Judge. I'm afraid none of us will live to see the day, my dear. Come on, children. I'm sure my Pietia is already waiting for us at home. I'd love to see my cousin. Are you coming with us? Uh, say you want some time alone or agree. Sure. Thanks. Get in. I'm sure the lawyer is already waiting for us. Okay. Dude, I didn't mean for him to say all that when I said chase her away. <laughs> Goddamn. That lady was kind of annoying, though. She spoke in newspaper headlines. Okay. This is our house. Hell yeah. Miss, your guests have arrived. The lawyer's upstairs, too, waiting. But try for jittery. Wonder if the tea I made him was too strong. Thank you, Grazina, dear. Let the guests wait. First, I want to take care of the will. I'll just wet my whistle and join you all upstairs. Make sure Uncle makes it upstairs sober. And I'll suggest you don't dawdle either. Okay. Master Victor, good God! Half your face covered, but I could tell right away it was you. You look just like your father in his youth. Completely his spitting image. Should I make you some cocoa, Master? It would warm you up a little. Uh, not trouble yourself. Tell her to make cocoa for Ligia. Sure. Make an extra creamy one for Ligia. Oh, I won't skimp on her. Now, your sister's putting a brave face on all this, but she's really having a hard time. It's lovely to see you again. But that's enough jabber for now. I've got the guests and the cocoa, and I've got to whip up some food for you all later. We'll talk soon. Okay, thank you. Go to your father's study. First floor, green square. Oh, this place is big. Hey, it's my dad. Alright. Warsaw Courier. Okay. Who's this guy? Oh, it's my cousin. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth again. I already failed to recognize someone once today. But you look familiar. Well, I should think so. I was the victim of one of your starling hunts. Voronins must not be very memorable, cousin. Pietia, forgive me, and for shooting you as well. Huh. How are you doing? Just some heart problems, not a subject for today. I'm sorry about Uncle Stanislav. Forgive me for not coming to the funeral. I can't bear cemeteries. We'll have to meet up again. Goodbye. Okay. I like his gold collar on his shirt. It's like one side of his, like... I don't know, gold plated or something. Very stylish. Oh god, he's already getting drunk. Liquor recipe. Okay. What is this? What is he doing? Oh, I'm glad you're here. I thought I'd have to drink alone. So many goodies laid out for the guests. Having trouble picking something for yourself, Judge? But this was Stasio's. It was special. Amber liqueur with quinces. I think you mean quince liqueur with amber, right? If it's not here, I'm sure it's in the basement. 
But I won't grope around down there in the dark now. I've got my hands full. Now, I don't want to trouble you either. Victor, could you track down a little bottle for your uncle? Oh my god. I suppose I'm obligated to accept this mission. <laughs> Good lad. A nephew like you is a treasure. The most crucial quest in the game. Getting booze for her uncle. <laughs> Get a bottle from the cellar. Really? <laughs> okay. I'll make you proud, uncle. I'll make you proud. What is this? 365 dinner recipes for five zultzes. Okay. Mother portrait. Oh, it's her mom. Why is it not hung? What happened? Um, okay. So we got to look for clues. There it is. Uh-huh. Oh, I got two bottles of wine. Quince liquor with ember. Oh, this is the one I was looking for. I just got like two extra bottles. Vernon's bottle. Every bottle found in Solskis cellar contains any a credit creditable beverage. Uncle Vernon wouldn't um, disregard any of them. So we got his liquor. Here you go, man. How did it go? Mission accomplished? Yes, sir. Uh, he wanted the... He wanted the bottle of liquor, right? Hold up. You'll have to wait a moment yet, uncle. He wanted the ember liquor. Yeah, yeah liquor. This is a bottle of red wine. This is white wine, and he wanted the liquor. Okay. How did it go? Mission accomplished. He's not a classy man. I think this is the one Uncle wanted. Yes, this is our little funeral battle. We would meet in Stasha's study after every funeral we went to, and raise a toast to the dead. And recently. We've been seeing one another more and more at such events. More and more. But this time, even he has left me. So? To an easy death, as Stasio and I used to say. Hmm. How did he die? Hasn't Ligia told you? I haven't even had the chance to ask. He didn't suffer. But such images in the memory are better saved for later. I'd prefer to remember him as he was alive. What then? Am I drinking alone? Raise a toast in silence. Drink to an easy death. Uh, propose your own toast. I guess, well, his toast is nice. To an easy death. I suppose there's no reason to bear grudges or be angry, is there? Mustachio? To an easy death. Familiar faces keep vanishing from my life. Stasio and my Helena before him. I miss my little darling. I miss them both. Well, obligation fulfilled. Shall we get to the reading of the will? Join the reading of the will, say so I need another moment. Okay, yes, let's go. So let's find out what my father hasn't left me. <laughs> let's begin if everyone is ready. Would you all please take a seat? Ladies and gentlemen, by the power of my office vested in me by the grace of his Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of All Russia, I hereby testify. Mr. Shulsky's last will and testament were prepared several years ago in the presence of Zaslav Fedorov, Esquire, that is, myself. My last will and testament recorded in the year of our Lord 1888. 
In the name of the Holy Trinity. Amen. Ask him to get to the point. Hear out the lawyer in silence. Buddy, hurry it up. Excuse me, but could we get to the details? Victor. I think we all want to address more temporal matters, don't we? In theory... Would you be so kind? Of course. Ah, here we are. All movables and immovables relating to the family enterprise I entrust to the care and administration of my daughter. I do not prescribe a method of administering them I merely offer her one piece of advice. To my brother-in-law and oldest friend, Alexander Voronin, I wish to leave the following. My collection of muskets and two revolvers dating to the uprising in memory of our first meeting. Stasio, I will have plenty to do in my retirement. Enjoy your retirement. Congratulate them both and say you'll wait in the kitchen where for the end of the ceremony. I mean, he, he's clear that he hasn't left us anything. I wasn't expecting I him to. I would also like to come to the aid of my only son, Viktor Shulsky, by oh. entrusting him with the use of my personal black grimoire. In the Never mind. That he will be able to make good use of it. This is my last will and testament. Carry it out solemnly, though you may have found it burdensome. However, this last bequest poses a certain problem. Yes, it certainly does. And what is that, may I ask? I am not in possession of this grimoire. The late Mr. Shulsky used it up until his death. Yet no one left it with me after his passing. Meaning it's disappeared? Okay. Did father have his grimoire on him at the time of his death? It was only because of the grimoire that we could identify him at all. What actually happened? How did he die? A building collapsed on top of him. I don't know any other way of putting it. Find out, uh, ask about your father's death, ask about the missing grimoire. Well, ask about his death, because so, so far no one has told us. A building, it collapsed on top of him. How? How did this happen? It was a day like any other. Papa had gone for his habitual walk. Every Tuesday and Thursday, he'd take a stroll to get some space, as he put it. When he didn't come back for a long time, I got... The bad feeling something had happened. Then we rode there together. An entire wall of a tenement had collapsed. There were three victims, including Stasio, who had the bad luck to simply be walking by. To see him there in that condition, it's beyond description. Find out where this happened. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go um and go to the building. Where did it happen? Where was this building? The southern part of Shudmieście, not far from the police station. Anyway, you can miss it. Of all the possibilities, this was the death that fate prepared for him. Um, say that even he didn't deserve this. Uh, emphasize that karma comes back. I don't know. It's, he left us something. I guess he wants us to finish what he started. So I foresaw a slightly more pleasant end for him myself. I doubt even he deserved such a horrible death. All right. Those might be the kindest words you've ever said on the subject of a father. How typical of a sort of person to keep a portrait in his study of a family. That was only a family on canvas. Not so long the after demon. the painting was done, he got divorced, ruined the Nijitsas, and kicked out his son. But 
There the portrait hangs, as if family meant anything at all. I don't know what exactly happened with Abauritsa, but I know that Papa felt guilty. You don't want to forgive him even now that he's gone? The dead need no forgiving. And as for forgetting, I don't know how. It's just a shame about the Grimoire. What do you intend to do? Say, so look through your father's things. Admit the building uh, is a good lead. Ask about Ivan. Uh, okay, so these are the two people that we met. Ivan is the one that came to the to the grave, and then this is the guy who asked about how he died. Um, admit the building is a good lead. I guess I want to know about this guy because he just asked how he died for for no reason. And Mordechai Chayat. Could that be a lead? I don't think so. He worked with father, but he left more than a year ago. I don't know why. He was an assistant at our, well, my store. Do you know where I might find him? Sadly, no. Do you have any other ideas? Okay, what about the guy that came at the grave? Father evidently knew a certain Ivan Konechkin. Have you heard anything about him? Konechkin? No, doesn't ring a bell. All sorts of people came to Papa's store. That doesn't mean every one of them might know something about the grimoire. That's true. You've got your work cut out for you. Okay. So, yeah, I guess, I mean, the building was always going to be the best lead. In the place where it happened. With your sight, you can make out more in those ruins than I, or uncle, or detective could. This is a good lead, but is it the only one? Okay. And where are father's things at the moment? You're standing at the very center of his kingdom. Not everything has been sorted through yet, but you go right ahead. And the store? I should check the two. I've started stock taking there to distract myself, and I don't want you to go in there before I've finished. As you wish. Okay. Say you already know everything. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's our house. See how little I know. Maybe these scraps of information will lead me somewhere. Well, now that we know what's got to be figured out, forgive me, my darlings. I'm going to give my old bones a rest. I'll see you out. Okay. I hold me, I kind of zoned out in this last part. Goodbye, Uncle. And, uh, Ligia. I'm sorry it happened this way. That I wasn't close by. The most important thing is you're here now. I guess I'm just like Uncle Vernon. I gotta go rest my weary bones after this. Okay. So yeah, now we gotta look through through our dad's things um, to find the Black Grimoire, which I, I, maybe it, it contains other Upiers, other Salutors. I don't know. We'll see. All right, everybody. I'm gonna leave this one here. If you want to see more videos like these, make sure to check out the playlist and also turn those notifications because these games are always streamed live on my channel. So if you want to tune in, hang out, have a chat, make sure to subscribe and have the notifications on. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.